Peugeot preps for the Frankfurt Auto Show with the Hybrid Sports People Carrier. JF, say that five times fast. Oh, friendly. Russia has big plans to invade Alaska with a rail tunnel, and someone leaks the new Genesis Coupe to the internets. Plus, it's Dumbass Tuesday. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fastlane Daily, and I'm watching you. Next generation of performance is here. Royal Purple's new high-performance street motor oil, HPS. Fortified with zinc phosphorus anti-wear protection, HPS exceeds the demands of high-performance and modified engines. Magnified, HPS improves metal surfaces for longer engine life. HPS's high film strength frees up more power, reduces heat and wear, plus provides greater protection. The next generation of performance is here with HPS from Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. French automaker Peugeot says they will debut their HX1 concept, a crossover hybrid, at the Frankfurt Auto Show in two weeks. The low-slung concept will have enough room to seat six adults comfortably and still retain an astonishing low drag coefficient of 0.28. That's nearly the same as the Prius. The HX1 will also sport rear-hung half-scissor doors, which coincidentally is just enough coolness to impress 40-year-old MILFs. It's true. But it doesn't stop there. Not wanting to make another boring hybrid, the HX1 comes with an embedded rear spoiler and side skirts on the tailgate that will deploy at speeds over 60 miles per hour. And it will also come with all the interior bells and whistles, oak floor, inlaid fiber optics, digital instrumentation, touchscreen displays, unicorn taint headrests, yada yada yada, you get the idea. The hybrid system consists of a 204 horsepower 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine that drive the front wheels and a 95 horsepower electric motor spinning the rear wheels. All this coupled together via a six-speed automatic transmission. Being a plug-in, the HX1 can deliver 18.6 miles of all-electric driving. And on the combined cycle, Peugeot says the HX1 is good for 88.2 miles per gallon. That's a lot of miles per gallon. Let's see if people actually care about it at Frankfurt. I mean, I'd care about it. It looks sharp and will attract MILFs. Win, win. Winning. Damn right, Charlie. And news out of Russia this morning. According to Inhabitat.com, Russian officials have pledged their support for a high-speed railway tunnel that would connect Russia with Alaska under the Bering Strait. Sarah Palin is stoked. At its narrowest, the strait is 53 miles wide, meaning that such a tunnel would be double the size of the channel that connects the UK with France. The one advantage the Bering Strait has is that the depth of water is never more than 160 feet shallow in comparison to many waterways around the world. A tunnel connecting Russia with the United States would be primarily used for the transportation of goods between the two nations. That's not to say cars couldn't hop a ride like they do in the tunnel. In theory, if built, now wrap your head around this guys, you'd be able to drive your car from New York to London or even Cape Town, South Africa. Now in reality, this tunnel could take up to 15 years to complete, so don't start packing your car just yet. The biggest challenge building the railway network and energy supply chain for the project. It's nearly a thousand miles to the closest major city in Russia. Then of course you got the infrastructure to get the goods to and from the tunnel. So that's that. I always wonder why they say goods. Is there any such thing as bads? Oh, they brought the bads with them. I don't know, just they got goods. Anyway, moving on. And now to our internet rumor mill where a Hyundai employee may soon lose his or her job. That's after leaked cell phone photos from one of the South Korean assembly lines show details of what the revised Genesis Coupe will look like. Due out at the 2012 Detroit Auto Show, the new Genesis Coupe sports a front face that mimics the styling of the new Veloster. Much more aggressive with a hexagon front chin. Right, Jay? You don't have to say anything, just have a big chin. Good. Also, the hood and the mirrors have been restyled. Apart from that, we can't tell what else is happening from these shots. No word on any changes to engine options or performance specs. We'll have to wait until Detroit to hear more. And when we do, we'll tell you, because we are Fastlane Daily, your number one automotive news source. Now let's watch a dumbass. As if you're not watching one already. Have you guys ever wanted to take a white van, strap a mattress to the front, pile up a whole bunch of boxes, gather a bunch of people around to watch, and then stand in front of it as it hits you head on while you try to look cool wearing no shirt? No? Oh, this idiot did. Have a look. Ooh, oh, where'd he go? There he is, nice. I love how the guy who's filming is like, that's insane. No, 
Insane is doing legitimate stunts that like Evil Knievel did or Travis Pastrana or any of those guys do. What you did wasn't insane, it was just dumb. Therefore you are a dumbass. I mean, th there's really no point to do anything like that. It's just ridiculous. Well, that'll do it for Fascinating Daily today. I'm Derek D. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. And did any of you see Rob Deerdeck's new show, Ridiculousness, last night? No. I watched about two seconds. Rob Deerdeck, I'm a fan. Fantasy Factory's good. Robin Big was good. This, bad news, man. Just not good. I still don't have TV. Really? Yeah. Power's still out, huh? No, I, I've got power. I've got no TV or internet. Oh, so it's your cable company that blows. Yeah. Palin is pretty stoked. At this, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that such a tunnel would be the bubble? The bubble? Would be the bubble? Who says the bubble? Yo, that's <laughs> bubble, son.